Now, I don't believe in coincidences. I don't. I've been around for too long. And this is especially true when it comes to uh, politics, Washington, D.C. Um, Matt Tybee, Matt Tybee, who is a journalist that I am, happen to be a, a, an enormous uh, fan of over the years. And, and again, he's, he's most certainly to the left of me, uh, but he's most certainly the best, one of the best at what he does. He's a great journalist. Uh, Michael uh, Schellenberger as well. They've been testifying uh, in front of a committee, Jim Jordan, a committee in regards to government, the FBI, uh, various different government agencies utilizing social media, pressuring social media uh, to get their way. Well, uh, again, I don't believe in coincidences. Uh, yesterday, yesterday, as their, their testimony was about to begin, I, the IRS showed up at both of their houses. The IRS showed up at both of their houses. What? And again, it's, it's, it's odd because they don't owe any money. Actually, the IRS owes them money. And again, um, I, let me break this down for everyone. Um, our, our government, I'm sorry. You know, I, I know everybody likes, you know, 4th of July and, uh, you know, national anthem, all that good stuff. But uh, our government is crooked. Our government is crooked as crooked could be. I mean, it wasn't that long ago. Remember Lois Lerner, IRS, targeting conservative groups. Anything happened to Lois Lerner? No, nothing. Nothing happened to Lois Lerner. I, I remember you know, Chuck Schumer doing an interview on Rachel Maddow's program. Uh, at the time, Donald Trump was coming into office. He was criticizing the FBI and the CIA and uh, their, their conduct over the years. And he... It was like a Freudian slip on air. And he's like, ah, those guys got uh, six ways past Sunday to come back at you. What? See, this is not supposed to be, you know, the, the country they live in. That, that's supposed to be North Korea. That's supposed to be Vladimir Putin. Um, and, and guess what? If you haven't noticed, we, we've taken on some of the traits of those countries. It was, it was interesting. There was a... Um, a survey that was done by the uh, University of Chicago, taking a look about the changes in our country's value system and people when it comes to, uh, you know, patriotism, wanting to have kids, a myriad of different things. And they compared it to when um, they first did the survey back to 1998 to today. But uh, the importance of patriotism is off by, I don't know, like they're almost 40 percentage points. But I get it. I, I do. I, I get it. I, I mean, how, how could you not get it? I mean, what's happened since, you know, 1998 from uh, the September 11th attacks? Boy, oh boy, the country could have come together. What do we do? We decide to uh, decide to go to war for a couple of decades, start a war, blow up a country in the Middle East, blow up another country in the Middle East, create ISIS. I mean, there's one bit of BS after another. So I, 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 I get it. I get it why people feel this way. But um, again, this, this, I've always gotten in, involved in, in conversations with this one. It also gets to the Second Amendment. And this is a point that I've made. Um, we had this horrific school shooting that just took place and saying, oh, I need more gun control, I need more gun control, I need more gun control. Um, Listen, yeah, do you want to keep guns out of the hands of people that are obviously mentally disturbed? Yes. Yes. Um, but uh, owning, owning guns is not, for me, it's, it's not so much about, uh, you know, I'm worried about getting robbed. I'm going to be honest with you, it's not. I mean, it's, obviously, it's a, it's a deterrent. You know, you live in state that have, you know, carry laws and, you know, Florida, you know, you're going to roll into somebody's house, try to rob it, pretty good chance you're going to get shot. To me, it's a pretty good deterrent. Uh, but to me, it's, it's about a check on government. And, and I this might throw people off here a little bit. I mean, I'll, I'll, ask yourself, what's scarier? Who can do more damage to you? Who could come and harm you? Take a look at the stories that we've had. Seizing people's assets, eminent domain. 
the IRS, wrongful prosecution. Who can do more harm to you? Is it Al-Qaeda? Is it ISIS? Or is it the federal government? They, they, they scare me more than anybody else. They do. They are frightening. Because again, you know, most of these agencies that act like little, you know, units of the Gestapo, um, they act as their judge, jury, and executioner. There, there's, no, there's no laws that were written. These are regulators. These, these, are, these, are bureaucrat, these are bureaucrats with Napoleonic complexes that love, love going ahead and throwing their weight around and bullying. <laughs> I was watching that, that movie that won the Oscar there that uh, was it Everything, Anywhere, All at Once. And uh, you had Jamie Lee Curtis playing the IRS agent. Oh, it was brilliant. It, it really was. But again, this is why you have, this is why you have the second minute. This is where the founding father, I mean, again, it's the reasoning behind it. It's, it's government overreach. You got two guys, two of the top journalists in the country, testifying to what they know. The IRS shows up at their house. Is, is that something to be proud of? That is, you know, should, should we cue up Hannity's music? Proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. You ain't freaking free. Okay? You're not. You're not. That's, that's a bullshit country song. Wake up. Watchdog on WallStreet.com.